Another local bridge closed this afternoon for safety reasons, and it's expected to stay that way for months. This is Washington Avenue in Swissvale. Channel 11's Pete Toluca spoke with neighbors who say they'll gladly sacrifice convenience for safety. People here in Swissvale say they've noticed this bridge's poor condition for quite some time now. They say they're glad something is finally being done and that they'd rather the inconvenience of taking the long way around rather than dealing with a potential tragedy. Barricades are up, signaling to drivers in Swissvale that the Washington Avenue bridge is now closed. It's been obvious for some time that there's there's been a lot of problems with this bridge. I mean, you know, you can see the rust on it. Swissvale's borough manager says the bridge will likely be closed for several months for repair work and testing after two drivers reported feeling movement while driving over it Thursday. It's just a shame that, that it has to take... Uh, we have to do these things under duress instead of having a program where bridges are maintained on an ongoing basis. The bridge is owned by Norfolk Southern and has connected Monongahela Avenue with Noble Street since 1907. This is on like a main artery. Thousands of vehicles cross over it each day, including Pittsburgh Regional Transit buses. The transportation company has rerouted the 59, P7, and P71 to avoid the closure, but the East Busway is still running underneath. Drivers say detouring around the bridge only adds a few extra minutes, and it's worth the inconvenience to avoid a disaster like the Fern Hollow Bridge collapse in January. Because when there's problems, it's too late if people get hurt. The Washington Avenue Bridge received a poor grade when inspected in 2018. The borough reports it received a poor grade again just recently in March. Main thing is safety. People don't worry about that. I do. These barricades will remain in place throughout the duration of the closure. It's unclear just how long at this point that will be. Reporting in Swissvale, Pete DeLuca, Channel 11 News.